Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back. This video, we're going to be talking about how to get user input for strings. That's because when we use the CN object, it only grabs the first word, which is very limiting. So we're going to talk about how to get around that. First though, I ask you to check out our sponsor, Embarcadero C++ Builder. This is an IDE that gives you the tools you need to develop C++ applications. So if you want a very nice debugger, user interface developer, integration with databases, IoT, Bluetooth, all kinds of capabilities, check out the link in the description. It's a great IDE because when you're done, you're able to deploy to multiple platforms, including Windows, iOS, Mac, and Android. Pretty sweet stuff. Check them out, guys. You won't be disappointed. Now let's talk about getting user input for strings. So to review, let's try to get user input using CN. And let's say we store this inside a greeting. Well, when we output this, What's going to happen is it's only going to have the first word. So we run this and let's say, hello there, but it only prints hello. That's because hello there is not being stored in the string, only hello is being stored in the string. That's because the CN object needs to know when to stop. How does it know when to stop user input? It could stop on a period. It could stop on the null terminating character or white space. Obviously they chose white space. So if we put in a space, a tab, or a new line, it's going to end. So let's try another example where I say hello, put a tab, and then say there. And it still only stores hello. So what happens to this other word there? Well, this is actually still waiting to be stored somewhere. It's still in the input stream. So what happens if we try to get another string, it's just going to get there. So let's try that out. We're going to create another string and we're just gonna call it leftover. And we're going to get this from console in like so. And then after we put out the greeting, we're going to output the leftover, like so. So we say hello there. The first time it prints hello, and then the next time it prints there. So when we did that second console in, it didn't even ask us for anything. It just automatically grabbed what was already there, which is actually there. <laughs> so how exactly do we get multiple words? Well, the appropriate way to do it is actually with a function called getLine. So it looks like this, getLine, and then we pass in console in, and then we pass in the variable greeting. Make sure you prefix that with standard. And then what we're gonna do is output, like so, and then compile and run. Now it's asking us for input. We're gonna say hello there, and you can see it prints the entire thing. There is another getLine you might see, and it looks like this, cn.getLine. This is a little bit different, and you use this version if you're trying to get strings. You can use this version if you're trying to get numbers, for example. The reason is because this get line was created before the string class, so it understands how to get ints and doubles and so forth, but when it comes to strings, we actually use this other function get line up here. So that is how to get an entire string from user input, not just a single word. There are a lot of variations of how to get user input and different functions you can use. This is just one simple one you should know, but if you wanna know all the others, you can look up all kinds of different input stuff. We might deep dive on user input later, but for now we know how to work with strings and we're gonna go on to something new. What exactly are we going to be talking about next? We're actually gonna be talking about string methods or member functions, as I mentioned in the previous video. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. Encourage you guys to check it out and please be sure to subscribe if you've enjoyed this content. Thanks guys.